Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Importance of forests Forest as a habitat Food chain Harmful effects of deforestation Taking care of forests So here we name this lesson as Forests Our Lifeline. So it Try is to convey the message that forests are extremely important to us. So here we will look at uh, the uh, various functions, the importance of forests and what do they do for us and how badly we need them. So that's the main agenda of this lesson. Now before we start talking about forest, have you ever visited a forest? So in I'm, I'm sure you would have seen a forest in uh, movies or in, in, on your television or pictures of forest. But have you ever visited a forest yourself? If not, you can try it out because you know it is going to be a very different experience. Because when you see something in pictures and movies and when you experience it on your own, there is a lot of difference between the two. Now, even if you have not visited a forest, but at least if you have visited some national park, like uh, you have a lot of national parks where people go to see animals like lions, tigers, bears and etc. So even if you have visited a national park, that would have given you uh, an ambience of forest, that how exactly forest look like. And if you compare a forest with that of your city life, you would see a lot of difference. Now, some of the major differences which you can notice between a forest and a city life is forest is all about trees. So you have huge number of trees. So you have greenery all around because there are so many trees that, you know, it, it makes it green everywhere. Wherever you look, it's, it's like green. So there is fresh air, no pollution because there are no vehicles, no, I mean, no industry, no factory, no smoke being emitted. So therefore, you know, the, the air is fresh, less pollution. You get to hear the sounds of birds and animals. That's all you hear. And they are all natural sounds. So, you know, it, it's kind of pleasant to hear these kind of sounds. Now, in your city life, we hardly get to hear sounds of birds. Now, sometimes early in the morning, we might hear uh, one or two, but otherwise during the daytime, we are all, uh, you know, so much used to with the sounds of traffic, vehicles, horns that, you know, you really do not get to hear these kind of um, natural sounds. So in, in a forest, you get to see a lot of trees. When I say a lot of trees, I actually mean it. You have big trees, you have small trees. So, you know, you have trees of different shapes and sizes. Now, if you have ever seen a forest from outside, like you are uh, crossing through a highway and a forest comes on the way. So you'll see that when you see it from outside, it just looks like a, a green carpet or a green blanket kind of thing. You do not get to see the land because it is so densely covered with trees that it, the trees form a green layer of blanket over the forested area. So, so that, that that's how a forest is like. Now, when you compare it with a city where you have less green, less greenery, because not a lot of trees are present in the cities. In fact, in a lot of cities which have developed too much, there you have very less number of trees. A lot of pollution, that is one curse to the cities with development, with establishments, the pollution is also increasing very fast. So whenever you inhale air, whenever you are on the road and you inhale air, you could feel that you are inhaling a lot of dust and dirt and harmful substances. Uh, all the sounds that you can hear in cities are the horns of vehicles, uh, loud music, you know, traffic signals. So these are the things which you experience in a city less trees of course so that's how you see forest is so much different from our cities or even towns but what we have to understand in this lesson is why do forests have so much of trees and why are forests important to us why do we still want forests to be there because we do not live in the forest we either live in towns or villages or cities so i mean why do we need forests they are of no use to us. You might think it that way, but actually that's not the case. So how can you define forest? How can you define this area which is covered with trees and all green, fresh air? 
So it is a large area of land covered with huge trees, shrubs and herbs. Now what are shrubs and herbs? So trees generally refer to the tall trees, the big trees. Shrubs are medium sized trees. So one example of shrub could be uh, the rose plant. So if you look at the rose plant, it is neither very tall like a banyan tree, nor is it very small. So rose would be an example of a shrub. Herbs are small sized plants, so they do not really grow very big. So examples of herbs could be uh, grasses. So they do not grow big, but yes, they are significant. They are also present. Now, if you look at a forest, it is not only the big trees which are present, but the shrubs and herbs which are also present. So you see here, you can see these barks of tall trees. But at, at the same time, on the ground level, you can see tiny herbs, grasses. And also you can see some small trees, you see, up to this much height. So you can see these kind of trees also. So you actually have uh, trees of uh, different sizes in a forest. So as I was telling that in this forest, you have all kind of trees. Starting from herbs to shrubs to tall trees. And these tall trees are, in, are so many in number that they kind of form a covering. They kind of give a covering to the forest. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.